date stories. <gasps> Do you have any? I can't yes, think of any really bad I ones. One. I blocked them out. What's yours? Can you say it? Probably what shouldn't. <laughs> I was on um, a kind of a new date with a new a guy. Nude? New. Oh, new, new guy. Mm -hmm. And um, we were at his house and we were getting ready to, um, <gasps> well, we were at his house. And um, then outside the window, I remember the story. I heard um, the sound of high heels running up to the window and a um, man's voice saying, I hope you're happy now. And then I heard the high heels <laughs> run away. Is that the ball waxer? <laughs> that was the ball waxer. Smooth as silk. <laughs> Liked my clothes she, a lot. He, I had she, to let him go. <laughs> he, she caught you red-handed. Do you have a bad date story? There's a terrible date story. I am the master of ceremonies. We're in Australia with the band. I set up an entire house full of the most beautiful women, models and everybody, and so everybody in the band is happy. And the madam of the house comes down. A stunning cougar of a woman comes in, and she invites me upstairs to her boudoir. We turn the lights off. You ladies out there, don't get excited. And in the dark, we try to do things. And then I feel something wet and cold on my back, and I get scared to death, because then I hear, <clears throat> like the biggest werewolf of all time, and she turns on the light, and there's a huge German shepherd <laughs> looking at me, and the madam says, down, Hitler, down! Oh, my God. <laughs> Hitler was the name of the dog. By the way, I'm Jewish.